Hey guys, Eric here. Uh, I told you that I'd show you my brew stand in a little more detail. So that's this video. And what we have here is my brew stand. It is a two tier natural gas. I got one pump. So I pump from HLT to the MLT. Gravity from the MLT to the boil kettle and I'll show you some of the components. Quick disconnects for the gas line. Um, it's a half inch hose. Threaded these and cut these myself. Ball valves for controlling the flame. And with these BG14s or the Hurricanes or Banjos, as you can see the ball valve is plenty enough to control it. You don't need a knee valve or a gate valve or anything like that. The ball valves are, work just fine. Um, casters I got from eBay from well, I can't remember this company but they're uh, 250 pounds each. They've got locking and when they lock they lock the wheel from spinning as well as rotating. They work really well. Um, to mount those, I'll get a better picture here. I took quarter inch thick steel bar, welded it in the corner like that, and drilled these and nutted them through. Um, that was a little bit of a worry how I was going to mount those, but it came out pretty well. Um, let's see. Here's these hoses I made. I followed Bobby's advice on taking the streeter elbows and grinding them down and having the quick disconnects. They work really well. Pump is a little giant. Works amazing. Um, I had to reduce it on the inlet valve here. This was one inch down to a half inch, but this is half inch on the outlet. Um, threw a piece of aluminum over it just to protect it. Doesn't look very good, but I'll maybe think of something later. It's hardwired directly into this switch. So on off. I also have a plug that's not on the switch. So if I ever want to plug something in while I'm over here, I don't know what yet, but figured why not. Um, wiring goes back to an extension cord. Um, this powers the stand, so I just plug it into another extension cord run that into the garage but it's a little easier than running an extension cord to the stand itself um, my mash tun it's just a cooler I built the stand so I could eventually have three burners so I have mounts under here which is just angle iron I have mounts under there for the option of a third st uh, burner but right now I'm not doing that so I built this little wood platform for the cooler to sit on nicely and then just a piece of aluminum for a heat shield for that because it does get a little warm. I might put something on the back of here like a insulation of some sort but haven't really needed it yet. Um, let's see these are just your standard 15 gallon, 15 and a half gallon whatever kegs. I got some polycarbonate tubing from McMaster threaded that with a quarter inch NPT die and it fits directly into a quarter inch bushing, quarter inch to half inch bushing. Um, those work pretty well. It's pretty much just Bobby's design more or less. And then I got some numbers from Bobby. I haven't finished peeling them off yet. I think I forgot. Um, if I were to do it again, I'd probably just buy them directly from Bobby since they it's an eight foot piece they ship you. Here's the giant tube for it. I haven't chopped it up yet because it's hard as a rock. Um, these valves are from Williams Brewing. It's a lot easier than trying to drill out in order to convert it to natural gas. Um, and I'll show you what it looks like under one of the burners. Under the kegs it's a little dirty, a little rusty, because I didn't paint the bottom of these standoffs, whatever. So I'll just buff them out, well, clean them off somehow. Same with the burner, a little dirty, I'll clean it off. Um, so this is 
one and a half inch square tubing, 16 gauge. I welded those to fit so the burner would fit. Quality control on these burners is terrible. None of the holes line up, so it's something to struggle with. Threw these on here so the kegels would sit on this. Allows the gas to escape. It's about as high as I would want them. Any higher, I think it'd be too far from the burner. Inside the kegs, I built a dip tube. Works pretty well. This is for my for boiling the water, heating the water. Um, it's just a direct into the middle. Works pretty good. A boiled kettle. I built a little dip tube to the side with a side pickup. Wraps around and picks up from the side. Hasn't been an issue yet since I've been using hop bags, um, but whatever. I just tilt it to get all the extra out since there's really no garbage left over. And that's about it.